Now, why, though, did God make them speaking spirits? If you understand how he made us, you will realize that there is a part of us that is spirit. That is the real essence of who we are. You're looking at me right now, and the reality of it is that you can't really see me. You see my body. But I'm on the inside of the body, and the body is just doing what I'm doing on the inside. In other words, the body doesn't bring me life. My spirit brings life to the body. That's why death is when your spirit leaves your body. Because your body can't exist without you. And so we are spirit beings. I kind of like that boy preaching in the light, man. When you get in the light, feel like like you're in the glory. We are spirit beings in earthen vessels. Now here's here's the caveat. This is what's going to change your life. He made us spirit, soul, and body. Spirit, soul, and body. I am a spirit. I have a soul, a mind, will, emotions, imagination, intellect, and then I am in a physical body. He made me a physical body so that I could be on a physical earth. But the essence of me is not physical, it's spiritual. Why did God make me spirit in flesh? Spiritual in a physical body. Because in order to have authority on earth, you have to have a body. That's why demon spirits are really illegal here. We're fixing to deal with them in just a minute. See, you got to get this. You got to get this. Because you're fixing to get understanding to so many things that have or have not happened in your life. But he made you spiritual. Spirit beings. For one reason. To give you a Authority in that realm. Whether you know it tonight, today, as you sit here, you are present in two realms. Did y'all hear me up there? Did, 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 did. That there is a part of me that is spiritual. And then there's a part of me that is physical because God created me to be able to function simultaneously in two realms. And what we have to understand is that we have become uh, in this earthly walk, we have identified more with the natural side of us than we have the spiritual side of us. And we spend most of our time preoccupied by the natural realm when the real realm that we are supposed to be in contact with is the spirit. Which means I was created as a spiritual being and then given, watch this, authority in that realm. So say this after me, my authority authority is spiritual, spiritual. which means then I have authority in that realm, which means I have authority over spirits. That you don't understand that the highest ranking thing. In the realm of the spirit is you. God the Father, God the Son, the Holy Spirit, and you. 
your spiritual rank has been given to you by God because God created us for spiritual activity. <laughs> Satan is screaming because I'm about to strip him of every bit of power he thought he had in your life with this revelation Satan is a spirit being he was an archangel you got that right now when he was cursed by God kicked out of heaven and fell to the earth realm he is still a spiritual being but he has no authority he was banished from the presence of God from all spiritual essence of anything God-like. He is still a spiritual being with other minions of spirits with him, but they have no authority, they have no godness, they have no legal rights. They were stripped of all of it in the earth. But because God is in heaven and Satan is on earth, then for God to have authority in the earth, he had to create somebody down here with authority. And so that's when he created man, created a woman and put them in authority and told Satan, just like you had to obey me in heaven, you got to obey them on the earth. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. We were created for the enemy to keep him under authority. And if God cast him out, guess what you and I are supposed to do? Cast him out. And so God gives us this authority. Why? Because even though Satan is in this realm, he has no legal right He's an outlaw. He knows he has no right, but that's not going to stop him. He has to have authority enforced on him. 